Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert drummer regions into step sequencer pattern regions in Logic Pro 10.7. After I uploaded my What's New in Logic 10.7 video, I got a couple comments and emails asking why you couldn't convert drummer regions into pattern regions. And I thought, this is a little odd because you can easily convert drummer regions to MIDI regions, so why can you not then convert those to pattern regions? And if you're not familiar with this update in Logic 10.7, you can now convert any MIDI region, or almost any MIDI region, to a pattern region, and it'll convert it into a format where you can use the step sequencer rather than having to use the piano roll. So this perplexed me a little bit because you can convert any drummer region easily to a MIDI region just by right clicking or control clicking and going down to convert and then convert to MIDI region. So then I figured, well, you just right click again, go down to convert and select convert to pattern region, but there's no option for it here. So then I thought, okay, well, maybe I'll create a blank or just a new software instrument, drag the MIDI region down to this instrument, and maybe the MIDI region will forget that it's a drummer pattern. So again, I'll just right click, go to convert, and the option is there, convert to pattern region, but you can see it's grayed out. So this is the sort of conundrum that uh, these comments and emails were asking me about. And it turns out it's not nearly as complicated of an issue as you might think. It's not a limitation of logic. It's actually that the drummer region is too long to be converted into a pattern region. And I've tried this with multiple pre-made drummer patterns, and it does not give you that option there to convert to a pattern region. However, if you drag over this with the marquee tool and separate this, or you can use the scissors tool as well, if you just wanna cut the, the region in half, what this will do is it'll make it a size that can be converted into a pattern region. So now if I right click and go down to convert, uh oh, it's still not there. So why is it not there? It's because there is a limitation on drummer tracks with the ability to convert a drummer region over to a pattern region. So if all you do is just select the drum track, double click down here to create a new um, software instrument, then right click, go down to convert, and now you can convert this to a pattern region. So that's all it took. You just had to convert the drummer region to a MIDI region, drag the MIDI region down to a new blank software instrument, convert to a pattern region, and then you can just drag these right back up to the drummer track and they should play back normally. And you can edit all of these patterns right here within the step sequencer instead of having to use the piano roll editor. And you can see that this one four bar pattern is taking up four windows of the step sequencer. So that's why this happened in the first place. The pattern was just simply too long to be converted to the step sequencer. So it's not that the functionality isn't there, it's just that the pattern was too long and then the drummer track is also preventing the conversion to the pattern region. And I find this really helpful too, because if I want to use the drummer instrument here, to dial in a pattern that I like and adjust the swing or whatever I want to do with it, you can customize the pattern here instead of having to type in individual notes. Maybe let's change up the percussion, change up the swing a little bit, change up the snare and clap and the fills. So now I've got more of like a swung beat. All I have to do at this point is, again, right click, convert this to MIDI create a new software instrument track, pull this down to that software instrument track, split the region in half, and then right click and convert to a pattern region for each of these. And then I can pull these back up to that instrument and then just carry on about my business in the step sequencer. So that's a quick workaround to convert drummer regions into pattern regions in Logic 10.7. Again, this functionality is not in Logic 10.6 or earlier. You have to have Logic 10.7 in order to convert to pattern regions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. And leave me a comment below and let me know what other Logic 10.7 tutorials you would like to see. As always, thank you for the support and thanks for watching.